I'd like to speak to you. Hey, guys, my door is always open. Lou, would you mind closing the door? <laughs> Sit down. What do you guys want to talk about? Tad, we Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> this is sensational. <laughs> Dear Mr. Baxter, we'd like 400 copies of your excellent article to distribute to our students. Isn't that something? A newspaper with my writing in it being used to train students, can you imagine? Ted, that's what we'd like to talk to you about, the article you're alleged to have written. What do you mean, alleged? Did Murray squeal? About what? <laughs> about my paying him $200 to write the article and him promising not to tell anyone? No, Murray never said a word. Oh, good, because that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> 200 is that how you paid him? Well, it's all they paid me. Yeah, but the Digest is now paying you $2,500. Do you think that's fair? No, but it's as high as he'll go. <laughs> Ted, you just admitted that Murray wrote the article. Don't you think he's entitled to share? No, I don't, Lou. On principle. Ah. What principle? <sighs> OK, Murray, let's say I paid a tailor to make these pants. If he stopped me on the street trying to take him back, I'd have him arrested. Am I right? Right. Yeah, but you're making a huge profit on this article. Okay, Lou. Let's say I pay a guy to build a house. And I later sell that house for three times the amount. Who gets that money? <laughs> uh, suppose people say, my, what a lovely house. Who accepts the compliment? You do. <laughs> Let's face it, guys. You haven't got a leg to stand on. I'm right. <laughs> hey, isn't this great? You guys always win an argument, but not this time. This time, I'm in the right. You're wrong, and I'm right. <laughs> oh, I tell you, this is a great country. <laughs> you know what makes it great? Because you don't have to be witty or clever as long as you can hire someone who is. 